My love for football um, come from just watching, watching football, watching my older brother he used to play football. We used to go down the park and play. I think just football's such a, an accessible game. You know, all you need is jumpers for goalposts, a ball. We used to just go down the park and play. And it was just fun. Um, and I just found it easy to sort of get involved, play and, and be able to express myself. I just really enjoyed it. First football club that I played for, my two friends, went and joined and I, I did shave my hair and pretended to be a boy. Uh, a little bit crazy when I look back now and think, why did I do that? But um, to be honest with you, it was just easier. When people thought that I was just another boy playing football, nobody really questioned that I was playing or was really that bothered. When people knew that I was a girl playing football, people suddenly had opinions and um, you know most of those opinions were that, that I shouldn't be playing. So it, they stopped looking at my ability of being able to play football and started to look at uh, my gender, which, you know, as an eight-year-old, I didn't really understand, to be quite honest. Um, so I just, I pretended, my two friends knew that obviously I was a girl and we all, we all pretended, called me Ray, and I, I, I joined the team and I had, um, had great fun. I mean, if I hadn't have done that, I don't know whether I would have got into a women's team because it was that manager that actually, when I was told that I wasn't able to play and I shouldn't be playing in the boys' team, it was him that, that went out and found me a girls' football team to play for um, and really introduced me to the, I suppose back then, the secret world of, of women's football because it wasn't televised, it wasn't in the, you know, well, there wasn't really so social media or anything like that. So it wasn't in people's faces. So I'm very grateful to him.